What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 15 of my Let's Play FIFA 20 series. Of course this is now weekly because I'm doing my win or loss series, the double L series and that's going really really well. I want to thank you for the support on that. Yesterday's video hit uh, at the time of recording this, about 800 views. Um, so yeah, that's really good for me uh, on my comeback. Anyhow, uh, I will get this Mbabu done. I haven't really done too much towards it. Uh, same with the Pope. Uh, likewise, I have built a squad. That's what you could see um, here for it, for the English scorers and the Bundesliga scorers, etc. Sancho's pretty good for that. Um, but yeah, we, we will get that done. I am playing a lot of FM at the minute. I am streaming that on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, sometimes during the week as well. But yeah, usually at about 3 till 7 p.m., um, and yeah, we're, we're taking a club, 7 United, that I've just created all the way from the bottom division, uh, the Vanarama North, uh, all the way to the Premier League, hopefully. We've just finished Season 1. So anyhow, this is practically a pack episode, really. Um, there's a lot of packs that I've done throughout the week. I haven't done the Frank Ribery or the uh, Usman Dembele SBCs yet. I'm not sure if I will. I don't know. Um, I'm leaning more towards the Ribery because he will link with Ibra, with Kessie, that sort of thing. But yeah, FIFA is starting to, like, it's not EA's fault uh, at the end of the day. Like, they've actually done a lot to keep people engaged. And it is keeping me coming back. Like, I love the, the 5, uh... 88 plus pack that you got yesterday that was brilliant content uh it's something unique that we haven't seen before relatively affordable and yeah a, a lot of diverse players in there of course there's a lot of the same like allison like loris like uh, parejo you know the, the shitters that you don't want to get in the pack but overall they've done a lot to keep people engaged but yeah it's just coming to the stage where i want to be playing other things um you know that's why i'm playing fm uh, I want to play some new stuff, obviously I'm playing Warzone, that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, I, I just want to expand my, my gaming, really, uh, particularly in the dead period of FIFA as this is now. Uh, I don't know who that is, man of the match, I have no idea, what's he, 81 probably, uh, 84, holy shit, okay, well he'll go for discard, because uh, that's how the market is at the minute, but from a one player pack, that's not too bad, but yeah, um, I just want to expand my horizons, particularly with the, the PS5 and the Xbox uh, Series X coming out uh, with a, a lot of new releases that I want to play. You know, I, I just want to experiment a bit. So, yeah, the FIFA content will stay the same, uh, double L, but I'm not really sure what will happen with the, the Let's Play series, particularly for FIFA 20. For FIFA 21, it'll, you know... As soon as um, October the 1st comes, that's it, like content overdrive, I'll be streaming, I'll be putting a load of content out there, um, because obviously I'll get it on the early access, but for the rest of FIFA 20, I don't know, um, these videos might even be less than once a week, because I just might not have enough content to put in them, I don't know. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. The, the winner L will continue as long as EA put content in. Of course, that's the whole point of that series, um, to review the content that drops at 6pm. And I know um, there's been a couple of complaints that I don't do the SBCs at times in those videos. I pick and choose. Um, at the end of the day, I want to get it out as soon as possible because... Um, I am competing with some very, very successful YouTubers who do sort of the similar thing. And it's not all about the views, of course. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's nice just having it out quickly. And if I'm doing the SBCs, it obviously takes me time. And if I don't have the stuff in the club, it just takes too long, um, ultimately. So, I don't know. For, for FIFA 21, I will definitely 100% be doing the SBCs. But for... Like, everyone's already seen everything in this game. Like, you know, every ridiculous Prime Icon's been packed um, with the, the Prime Icon packs. Uh, you, you've, you know, Team of the Years, etc. Like, even packing a Ronaldo now is nothing. Like, if I put that in the title, no one cares until FIFA 21 comes around. And then everyone cares, of course. It's just the way it goes. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I do pick and choose. I do try and do what I can with the content. Um, but, yeah, for... for for the rest of FIFA 20, I'd, I don't know. As I said, I don't know. It depends what EA do. I don't know if Summer Heat is the last promo, if they've got another one after this, or what the hell's going on. But I, I don't want to put a dampener on the video. Like, I enjoy what they're doing with FIFA at the minute. I really do. It's just, yeah, I want to, I want to split my time. Uh, I want to stream. 
I want to upload to YouTube. I've got a 40 hour uh, a week job. Uh, I want to do other things, of course, you know, uh, live my life, uh, spend time with my girlfriend, that sort of thing. So, yeah, this got way deeper than I thought. But, <laughs> yeah, I I'm just going to manage what I can do with uh, the account. That's not bad, an 87 rated uh, Schmeichel. But know that I'm, I'm practically... I brought this channel back towards the dead end of FIFA so that when FIFA 21 comes, people start viewing again, you know, uh, I, I get... Uh, maybe some old viewers that watch my content and hopefully a lot of new viewers as well So when they look at my channel, they can see oh he's been uploading for the past two months They ain't gonna cycle further uh, back than that. So, you know, it, it just shows that I have been uploading So that, that was the whole point of bringing it back in a dead period. So so as to speak Preparation for FIFA 21 so I can experiment with some things see what works see what doesn't and then yeah, just go from there, really. So we've got these four players, uh, four packs left. I've done a, an upgrade pack for the 85 to the 92. We've had a lot of boards, to be fair. It's been relatively successful. A few walkouts. I really want to get those. Oh, that Schmeichel again. No, it's Paulson. That's even worse. I would have preferred Schmeichel. Um, but yeah, I want to get that Pogba foot birthday in one of these packs, to be honest. Uh, that's a player I really, really do uh, want to get because he's quite expensive. Um... Or St. Maxime, you know, because he didn't win uh, the, the SPC. I did vote for Maxime. It's just a shame that he, he didn't win the Dembele one, which I thought he would. Um, it's just, yeah, I would have preferred the Maxime. He would have fit into my team a lot better than Dembele, even though that Dembele card is absolutely outstanding. That was a shit mega pack, of course, because it's tradable. Right, so these are the packs that I want to get Foot Birthday Pogba in, but, uh, of course, that's <laughs> that's very very niche probably won't happen so we did get a walkout which is good um german not a clue is this to stegen yo that's not bad is that eight, nine, 91 or 92 92 we got the maximum rating we could in there so no complaints from me whatsoever for that really really good to get him in that i don't think i've ever got the maximum rating from one of those packs before so you know see what we get in the 84 plus i'm hoping for a walkout of course uh oh, it's a team of the year nominee so ugh. Oh, who the hell is that? Oh, man. Oh, that's an L. 84. Oh, oh, that is an L. Hopefully, we've got a decent high rated. Oh, 284 is right. Well, that one was an L, but the rest of it was decent, to be fair. That was a decent pack opening. And yeah, <laughs> enjoy a lot more packs uh, in this episode. But yeah, for now, I'll just let the clips play. But this is live Aiden off, if that makes any sense. Right, we've got a few of these upgrade packs. I think I've got uh, four 81 pluses, and then that would mean I've got seven of these 82 to 88. Um, they've been pretty good to me throughout this promo, uh, if you know it decides to actually open. Uh, but I'm just doing this to you know farm some players that can go into the Fabinho SBC and a couple of other ones that will probably be out by the time this video is because this is going to be part of the weekly recap I believe for uh, next Monday. I am actually recording this on Monday so it might be quite early in the video. Might not mean much to you but yeah for my own sanity I know what I'm on about. Uh, <laughs> right so that was Pickford in that one which is good he's probably about 7k at the minute. And then we've got Kepa, so we've got two Premier League goalkeepers who, yeah, is over 10 kids. Oh, it's absurd, man. It really is. It, it, obviously, these aren't tradable, but yeah, it, it just negates the, the cost. Like, if I had to go and buy Kepa and I had to pay 11,000 coins, that's just ridiculous. Right, so we've got another 83 to 85. I'm going to guess it's an 83, probably. It is. It's pa Paco Alcazar. But again, even he's 5k, like... Oh, madness, absolutely madness. But so far, we've had a board in every single one, which means we'll get an 82 in this, because I've said that. Oh, no, we actually did. We got another board, at least. Uh, it's a special card, which is good. It could be an 87. Um, Cam, I don't know who that is. I don't know what rating he is. Is he 84? He's 85, Stindle. That's not bad. An 85 rated inform, who's probably discard price, because the informs tend to go for less. Uh, no, okay, even he might be a little bit enhanced because of the Foden and the Fabinho SBCs, that's fair enough. Uh, but yeah, we're doing well with these 82 to 88. Um, 
nope, okay, this one's an 82. But hopefully it's a, like a, a, a fullback, because they go for a lot. Pedro, I mean, even he is a stupid amount, so that's a good one to have. He's a good 82, because for chemistry and all that kind of thing. Pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, and EA finally released uh, the, the special filters, didn't they? You know, after 11 years of Ultimate Team, you can finally filter between special cards as we get another special card. Uh, okay, this one... Is he 85? Yes, there you go. I got, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but he's an 85 rated special card. So again, these are, these are great for seven rare golds. I mean, he's not far off discard in fairness, but for seven rare golds and four bronze players, you can't complain. These are really good packs. They are. Don't know if he have juiced them or changed the, the weights or whatever. But yeah, I mean, there you go. Like only one of them had an 82 rated. Everything else had 80, well, yeah, 83 to 85. Lucas Lever, again, probably close to 10K. Okay, he's more than 10K. It's just absurd. Through, through all that, we've probably, if they were tradable, we would have made how, how much? Like, not far off 100K, really, from those. Oh, my God. And then look at this, the 81 pluses that require 11 rares. The first one, we don't even get a board. We get two 81s. How much are they? Oh, wow. Even Guerrero something? What the f Oh my god, even Milner is... <laughs> even in that pack, that would probably be like 6k, and that was a shit pack. Oh my god. Oh, packs actually have value. Uh, oh, nah, another one that isn't a board. Oh, these 81 pluses stink. Bauman, 2k maybe. Mario Fernandez, probably one and a half. So that's about three and a half for that. So, so far we've made about 10k theoretical coins from the first two made so much more with the 82 to 88 right here we go here's a board it's not a walkout so it's only an 83 to an 85 uh it's john stones and then milner again but as a thing oh my god john stones is 11k jesus this is helpful though it is helping me because i'll be able to do the fabinho spc without spending many coins uh, right, yeah, there we go. We're going to end with a walkout. That would be nice. Hey, we do. It's a walkout. Come on, be someone good. Brazil, left wing. Goalkeeper, that's still not bad. Alisson, I'll take that. Well, that's really good. That's an 89 rated goalkeeper. So, you know, it's probably meant that value-wise we've came out with about the same uh, from the, the 81s and the 80, uh, 82 to 88. Even Lingard's like 3k. That's mad. So, yeah, that that's a success. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Theoretical coins. Probably about 150k from those. Right, so we're going to complete this Fabinho SBC. It is insane value. It really is. Uh, you know, <laughs> even as a United fan, I can appreciate when they release a, a very, very good Liverpool uh, SBC, I suppose. But yeah, this is what I'm trading in. Obviously, one of the Bruno Fernandes is. Uh, it brings the, the cost down considerably because he's a 90 rated. Uh, I've got untradeable Pickford and Stones, which is great because that saves about 4 million coins these days. Um, so, you know, everything there is untradeable bar Coleman and Welbeck, I think, which cost about 2k combined. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna trade that one in. And then we've got this Brazil uh, sec segment, hopefully... Oh, God, who did I have there? Uh, oh, I had the goalkeeper, didn't I? Uh, we're on the chem, so I think I can use Mario Fernandes. Hopefully. Hopefully that gives the chem. Yes, it does. Right, there we go. So, yeah, again, we're using this Mendy, uh, the, the 87, because we've got the 89, the 90, whatever, and the 93, or whatever it is. Uh, we've got Marcus Alonso, who I got in the flashback SBC. We've got his 90, so <laughs> I don't need the 88. Uh, this uh, tradable Yeri Mina, who's about 10k. Uh, I packed him again, so, you know, uh, we need the inform there. It saves me using a team of the season. This untradable Kepa... Um, yeah, I think the only player I bought here was Vitolo, and he was about 2k, so, you know, everything else is untradeable. So we're going to submit that, and we're going to complete the Fabinho, and he's going to go into my team and give me yet another unbelievable midfielder, and give me a dilemma for what the hell to do. Uh, so we've got at least one 83, and it is not a walkout, so it's 83, 4, 5. I'm going to guess an 84. 
It was an 85, uh, uh, Rodriguez. He's probably, what, 20k? Oh, wow, he's a little bit cheaper than I thought. About 12k, maybe. Um, but, yeah. Right, we'll just discard all that. And then the rest of the packs are tradable, I believe. So we'll open them left to right, I suppose. I think, uh, yeah. Worst to best, which... Sorry, right to left, which is worst to best in terms of value for the packs. Uh, so no board there. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. But we do get an 82, so you go for something. Yeah, a couple of thousand there. Uh, I'll just make sure the student doesn't really go for anything. Uh, we'll list them for 800 coins, Mulgrew. Uh, and then what about Steers? Nah, he literally goes for naught, so I'm just going to discard him. And uh, we move on to the other two. Try not to let this drag out too much. But hey ho, if I am going to get something, you know, I want to I wanna show it on video. Uh, right, so we have got at least a board. Uh, it is a special card. It's a common ball player, I think. Uh, this could be good. I don't know what rating he is. Is he 88? 87, that's not bad. An 87 rated special card. Probably about 25k on the market at the minute. Daily Blind as well, not too bad. Yeah, yeah he's about 20, 25k. Daily Blind, like 4k. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I saw a Cardiff player there. I don't know if they go for anything. That might have been last FIFA, to be honest. Get confused. Um, but yeah, can we finish off with the board? We can. Is it going to be a walkout? Nope, but it's a special card, so that's probably Yeri Mina, because I've packed him like every fucking time I get an info. No, it's not. It's worse. Oh, well, not too bad. We've made some coins back there, which is uh, all you can ask for, really. And we've got a 92 rated Fabinho. Right, we've got a lot of cards in the club, so I thought, why not do one of these prime icon packs again? So we've got uh, the Mendy and the Bruno Fernandes, uh, not the top versions, obviously, uh, just ones that, yeah, we can throw in. Everything else is untradeable, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to, to trade that in for a chance at something exemplary, hopefully. So... Here we go, a prime icon. I really want to get Eusebio or Cruyff. Um, I've had Hullet every bloody FIFA. Uh, same with Ronaldo, uh, R9 Ronaldo. So, I mean, I'd, I wouldn't say no to either of them, obviously. But if I had to pick two, it would be Eusebio or Cruyff because I've never had them on this. And yes, I'm in my dressing gown because it's the morning when I'm recording this. So, uh, yeah, come on. I want to see that Portuguese flag, Netherlands or Brazilian. There's a few Brazilians I would want. Brazil, come on. Left wing, is that Ronaldinho? B Dinho, come on! Oh. Oh. Oh, that's an L. Oh. Oh, no, I genuinely thought we got Dinho there. Oh, man. I might do another one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right, you know what? I'm going to do one final one. Uh, we're going to trade in this. Uh, we're going to trade in the Rivaldo because I'm just never going to use him. Two star week for medium lot. He's just, he's not a very good card uh, in this game. Few others. Uh, everything here is untradeable. Uh, so yeah, let's trade that in. And uh, yeah, of course I want to get rid of Regulon. I've got Mendy now. I don't need Regulon. Right. Come on. Eusebio or Cruyff. They're the two that I really want. Um... Of course, there's a few Brazilians that I wouldn't mind. Um, Rivaldo being one of the few that I would mind to get. Uh, so yeah, Brazil, Netherlands, or Portugal, please. And if it's Portugal, only centre forward. Uh, come on, please. Come on, come on, come on. Be a win, be a win, be a win. Oh, it's an L. Doesn't matter who it is, it's an L. Uh, Maldini could be okay, but... A Cannavaro... Uh, uh... Yeah, I suppose that's a small win. I don't know. I think he's he's behind the power curve these days. Uh, I suppose he's 400k, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's better than Rivaldo. Right, well, here are my champs rewards. I barely played through, and yes, I'm in my dressing gown. It's morning, uh, the morning of Thursday. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I got. Was it like six wins? We got silver three. I only played about 9 to 10 games. I just I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest. Um, okay, we're going to take the 88 purely because it's an 88 rated. And yeah, it'll help with future SBCs. But yeah, Rivals was much more beneficial for me because I was going through, uh, for the summer heats last week. So yeah, okay, that's what we've got for there. What do we have for Rivals? 
I should be in the, um, I was going to say Division 1, I'm not in Division 1. I should be Rank 1 in whatever division I am, and I am. Um, should I take the untradables? You, you know what, I might as well, I need some fodder. So we've got a few untradable packs there. Don't know what division I'm in, maybe it's 7. I, I don't know, it oscillates between 6 and 8 when I'm doing objectives. So, you know, uh, occasionally 5, but... Hey ho, we'll just open these in order, because why not? Uh, let's see if we can get anything. You know, any any cards, really, that, um, well, <laughs> are useful for SBCs. Even even the base card, like, it's just good getting this kind of crap, like, especially, like, the Cresswell, because, you know, he goes for a little bit, and it's just for fodder for the SBCs, really, because uh, I've drained them because they upgraded packs uh, numerous times, of course. So, yeah. We'll just see what we can get. Um, okay, that's not a board. I'm just going to skip, obviously, all the ones that aren't a board. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping we can at least get some. That would be nice. Of course, we get a we get a duplicate. I've barely got any players in the club, and of course, we still end up getting a duplicate because that's the way the cookie crumbles on FIFA. Um, yeah, it does seem as though legislation might come in soon as well for uh, the the gambling act to include FIFA packs, which would be great. Um, for future iterations of FIFA, uh, FIFA 21 onwards, uh, nothing's confirmed. It might be by the time this video is up, um, but yeah, I know the the lords are trying to push it through quite quickly. To be honest, because they, they see it as a as a pretty well, I, I don't know, like a, an urgent matter, which I agree with. Um, you know, I don't think it's right that EA can get away with uh, charging what they do for packs and not revealing what's in it and then it's still being a, a three rated uh, game which of course fifa is so something's got to change something's got to give and hopefully that will either you know remove fifa points completely probably won't uh, or reduce the price significantly or just have an effect somehow that i just can't think of right now but yeah it would be brilliant and it's needed because uh, I myself fell victim to this uh, while I was in university, you know, I had uh, disposable income. And yeah, it's something that requires change, it really does. Because, yeah, it's, it, it, you know, it's young adults who have disposable income for the first time in their life. Of course, it's it's an addiction. Um, and yeah, that, that is down to the person as well of course like i expect uh, sorry i take full responsibility for my idiocy when i was a, a young adult but thankfully i've turned it around now and yeah I'm, I'm not spending anywhere near as much and if i am spending money it's money i've actually got and can earn and you know i can afford um so yeah I, i'm i'm just hoping that this changes something i really do uh it, it's a positive thing i think um but yeah we'll, we'll see what impact it has i know belgium completely removed uh fifa points so yeah it would force ea to do a bunch of other things as well but yeah it just saves a lot of a lot of kids and young adults money to be honest that they probably don't have uh strikers at jeko well it must be jeko i think he's the only one that got an inform that was bosnian 86 rated in form i think that's untradeable but again it's good it's great for fodder uh, a couple of special cards that aren't really special cards because uh, they're the same as their base ratings. And we've got two mega packs to finish this off. It's been pretty woeful, to be honest, the rewards. Uh, we've had two boards, one walkout, no board in this one either. Uh, I don't know if they've like nerfed the pack values or something because uh, it's Thursday. But hey ho, at least we're filling the club. I doubt he's going to be tradable. Yeah, he's untradable. We'll just discard that. And we got the last pack here, and then that'll be that. And yeah, whatever segments are after this I, I don't know it's a weekly recap so i don't know what comes after this <laughs> you will though because you'll see it in this video uh so unfortunately only one walkout that oh, that's not bad milkinovich savage 85 raid uh he will be very helpful in sbc which is the current mantra of course but anyhow uh that's it for for champs um i don't think i'll be playing it this week to be honest uh, i think that's probably me done for champs uh, in general i'm just going to play whatever rival objectives that they bring out and yeah probably draft oh wow it's a board at least <laughs> okay it's an 84 plus german center back hummels holy shit is that 88 <laughs> oh my god this is from the 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 two rare player pack man what the hell wow 
I mean, he's 30k and he's tradable as well because it, it, it's from one of the uh, daily SBCs. Uh, I think it's La Liga challenge where you get a prime electrum and a two play, uh, two rare players pack. Wow, this one's a board too, at least. Holy shit, this one's an actual walkout, like a walkout walkout. Come on. CDM, that's not bad for <laughs> Nandini. Holy shit. Okay, well, I've made 50k plus. Like, the SBC probably cost me like 6k in assets. So, how much is he? Yeah, he's about he's about twenty five k give or take. Uh, so yeah, wow, that's actually insane. 